you could change anything about yourself, what would it be? Your eyes, your hair, your stomach, your thighs? Maybe it's time you changed your attitude. Newsflash. Not every girl is a size eight, and not every guy has big muscles. Some people do, and that's great. Some people don't, and that's great too. Our research shows that one in two young people dislike the way they look. One in two? That's half of you. And we want to show you that what you think people find attractive is actually quite different from what you think. Real people with real bodies have stripped off for our experiment to give you a candid, honest view of what real bodies are like. Tall, fat, thin, hairy, tattooed, and everything in between. So which of these body types do you find most attractive? It'd probably be this one. I'm attra actually attracted to quite a few women in, um, on the wall, but it's actually more to do with the woman's hair and what she's wearing, or what I'm trying to imagine is behind the photograph rather than what's in it itself. I would say the third one, basically because the whole idea of the image of a man being so sculptured, compared to others. Do you know, it's quite hard to pick one actually because I don't know what any of these guys are like and being attracted to people for me is a lot about what they're like and who they are and how they act. But if you're going to twist my arm, I would say this guy here because he's got really, really nice hands, which is something that I notice on people. And also because that's the body shape that most reminds me of my husband. The body type which I'm most attracted to is that one right there because um, she's like, has a nice build. She's not too skinny and not too fat. Okay, so it's possibly not just the body type. It's possibly also something to do with the art. It's causing me to be attracted to this particular one. I don't think you have to have a six pack. It's nice if you do, but you don't have to have one that's about the person rather than about the body type most of the time that attracts me anyway. The guy with the, the life runs on. I'm a bit of a, like, a, bit of a fan of life guy with a little bit of a belly. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the weird thing I have. Um, and it just makes you feel quite sort of like safe and secure. I think the two body types I find the most attractive are this one here and that one. I like girls that are a bit slimmer and small, like quite petite, I think because it makes me feel a bit bigger and like, like protective. I can't really choose which one because um, they all look healthy and I feel most attracted to personalities and to how the person holds themselves and how they walk and how they talk and how they, they are. I'm drawn to her tattoo, she's nice and curvy. Number machine number six. So I, the second one in. Somebody that just looks healthy, not just necessarily completely um, muscle bound, but very healthy looking. I'd probably go with the one completely on the far right. Uh, I like how he's really uh, broad and I imagine they'd be much uh, taller than me. So have loads, of, have loads of hugs. When I'm dating somebody, the most important thing is, you know, their personality and obviously I need to be attracted to them. but. Body for me isn't really that big of a deal. Um, I think it's the fourth one in someone in my generation being raised and like always looking at Instagram and all these things. Um, we see like these models and we're just more superficial, so we've been raised that way. Like I'm sure all these people have great personalities. The third one in. You like a bit of hair, don't you? Because yeah, I do <laughs> like a hairy chest. So I'm attracted to two actually, the second from here and the second from there. Being an athlete myself, even I like fitter bodies. I'd probably go for the middle toe. Just because they're quite toned, but it's not too, not too slim. I don't know. It just seems a, a, like more of a sort of healthy weight, in my personal opinion. It's kind of hard because you just—it's just bodies, no faces. Like you haven't had a conversation with the person, so you don't know who they are. You don't know the background of the person, so it's kind of hard to just decide to pick someone without actually knowing who they are. I think the guy, one, two, third one in. Quite like all his tattoos. Quite like. Expressive, yeah. kind of shows a bit of personality. Number six, she's got nice curves. They love handles. <laughs> you, you like that in the relationship. You don't like someone who ain't got that. Him? He's got a nice, sort of muscular build, um, and I like V lines. Well, I really like the guy here. It sounds sort of cliche, but sort of like to be quite cuddly. I like that. But I also like guys that are very, very slender, bordering on skinny, because I like those angular features. So not only do we all look different, we're all attracted to different things too. What a happy coincidence. We don't all gravitate to the same size, shape, weight, height, or complexion or style. And we need to remember that. Society may say that we need to look a certain way to be attractive, 
but I say we need a revolution, a body confidence revolution. You are attractive because of who you are, how you act and how you treat others. That comes in all different shapes and sizes and we're okay with that. And we hope that we can change your mind so that you're okay with it too.